It's Monday, and this is Markets Daily, hosted by me, Jensen Assey. On this show, we navigate the currents shaping the crypto markets, providing insights against the broader financial landscape. Now, whether you're actively trading or simply fascinated by the volatility of the crypto markets, this show is your compass to understanding what's happened, where we are, and where we're going. You know what's going on, everyone? Welcome to the show. This morning, the headlines are riddled with questions. President Joe Biden announced that he's not going to be running for re-election. So the question is here, who is going to take his place? At 1.46 p.m. Eastern time on a beautiful Sunday afternoon, Biden took to his ex-account to say that he's endorsing Vice President Kamala Harris, sending the Kamala Harris-inspired meme coin, comma, soaring. Leave it to the crypto crowd to bet on the very serious outcome of the presidential race in the U.S. via a very silly meme coin. I absolutely love it. Now, while Kama Sword Bowden, the Joe Biden-inspired meme coin, lost almost 60% in the minutes after the announcement, I was refreshing my screen and that chart was looking dismal. The price just kept going down. Now, Meme coins have made it easy for the crypto crowd to poke fun at politicians while also placing their bets on the upcoming election. And it seems like the crypto crowd is increasingly placing their bets on Republican nominee Donald Trump. In the wake of the news yesterday, I took to my ex account and asked folks who they think is going to win the election in November. As of this morning, 75% said Trump, 15% said Harris, and 9% have their hopes set on another Democrat nominee to win the elections in 2024. Now, the crypto community is a small but mighty one. We need to remember that. And it's a community that has had to fight tooth and nail for recognition, validation, and clear regulation from the government in the United States. So it's no wonder that the community is moving to support the candidate who claims to hear them. Donald Trump, as we all know, says that he is going to be the first crypto president. His pledge to protect Americans who own cryptocurrency from, quote, Elizabeth Warren and her goons, end quote. And he wants to ensure that, quote, all remaining Bitcoin is made in the USA, end quote. Now, I want to take us back to May when a poll was released by DCG. It revealed that more than 20% of voters in crucial swing states consider crypto to be a key important issue to them. And maybe Trump is just trying to leverage this. Now, all of this considered, I think we need to remember that it's not the only issue. There are so many other things we need to consider outside of crypto. Despite this, Crypto industry figureheads like Cameron and Tyler Winklevoss, Jesse Powell, Mark Andreessen and more have shown their support for the former president publicly and some have even donated to his campaign. A16Z co-founder Ben Horowitz said on a podcast recently that the US SEC and FDIC has fought them every step of the way using very nefarious means. He added that he thinks they've even sued over 30 of A16Z's companies. When we hear comments like this, it's important to recognize where the comments are coming from and understand the interests that a single person or entity might have in the outcome. Those interests might not be aligned with yours. So like every aspect of the crypto market, it's so important to do your own research. Amidst this, I think it's important to look closely at what Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin has said about supporting political candidates based solely on whether they have adopted a pro-crypto stance. In a blog post, he said that the game of politics is so much more complicated than just who wins the next election. He even warned folks that Putin and the Russian government had expressed willingness to become open to crypto too. Now, he goes on to say that by publicly giving the impression that you support pro-crypto candidates just because they're pro-crypto, you're helping to create an incentive gradient where politicians come to understand that all they need to get your support is to support crypto. Now, I should note that in that blog post, Vitalik did not name any political candidates. So how do we make sense of all of this? Is a Trump presidency good for crypto? Analysts and market commentators have said that Bitcoin is increasingly becoming a bet on Trump, but it might not be because he's coined himself the crypto candidate. Shark Tank star Mark Cuban wrote on X recently that Silicon Valley's support for Trump is a Bitcoin play, but not because the former president is a strong proponent of crypto. It's because he could make it easier to operate a crypto business in the U.S. due to the inevitable and required changes at the SEC. He also added that the price of Bitcoin will be driven by lower tax rates and tariffs, which, if history is any indicator, will be inflationary. Now, when we look at global uncertainty as to the geopolitical role of the USA and the impact on the U.S. dollar as a reserve currency, Mark says that you can't align the stars any better for a Bitcoin price pump. How high can the price go? Mark said way higher than you think Bitcoin becomes a 
safe haven amidst geopolitical uncertainty and the decline of the dollar as the reserve currency. Now, all of that to say that whether you're betting on the election via the price of Bitcoin, the latest meme coin to join the polyfi sector, or poly market, the loudest people might at times have the loudest interests. So do your own research, understand your candidate's stance on crypto, understand what their presidency means for geopolitical relationships and the economy, and ask yourself, is what's good for the price of Bitcoin actually good for you? In the meantime, have fun and stay safe out there. It's going to be a wild ride to November. Thanks for listening to this episode of Markets Daily. And thanks for coming on this journey with me to better understand the crypto markets. If you've enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe to the Coindesk Podcast Network on your preferred podcast platform. Subscribe on YouTube, leave us a five-star review and hit that like button. Your support means the world to us. We hope you have a fantastic day and we'll see you tomorrow.